when there is um, nothing that comes. And there appears to be nothing seeking that what comes from this nothing. There appears to be peace and contentment. But in this contentment, it is clearly seen that everything there has appeared to be something or given some sort of recognition to in whatever way in whatever possibility be it form, fantasy, thought, experience. There's nonsense. And that what is arising from the, this speaker as this nothing which is holding up that nothingness continues to experience itself and what is going to come from this experience into what we are apparently think is an end and then a continuation of what is also nonsense the mind that makes up something other than what is taking place in this nothing reflecting nothing world is menacing with itself is struggling with itself to try and make something out of that what has been annihilated as itself. All this nonsense. The idea is a thought. The thought is born from a need, a desire, to discover either what is taking place or what it can find out or what it remembers. And none of this is what this is about. All of these things are fluctuating, beautiful, momentary movements within the baseline of nothing. To discover nothing, not the opposite of something, but beyond the idea that there are two opposites and that birth and death are two opposites and pain and pleasure are two opposites, and form and formlessness are two opposites. Beyond that, what is two opposites? Is to discover the wordless, which appears to be at this moment in time experiencing itself as an opposite. Because it cannot project without erring to the side of something or nothing. So that 
it is a slightly unbalanced in that nothingness state. But in fact, that what witness itself slightly unbalanced, unbalanced in this nothingness state is beyond something and nothing. Because contentment is neither positive or negative. What nonsense. What absolute nonsense. To sit and speak, or apparently appear here, to, to project that whatever is taking place is not taking place. But it is taking place. And it's not taking place and taking place and not taking place and taking place and not taking place and taking place. It's not in time. When time is seen through, meaning fake, that what is not taking place and taking place is the same. What can describe an absolute merging? of that and this or pain and pleasure. That what is neither pain nor pleasure, what is it that is taking place? There is no description, no memory, no separation. The mind of nonsense wants to make sense of it. The mind of nonsense that wants to make sense of it cannot be not it. It has to be projecting from it to reflect itself as it. Therefore, whatever one is, the speaker is not here to tell you anything about yourself or your world, but whatever you are projecting into, as, from that torch, that light, that you are. Whatever is seen has to be an exact, an exact replica of what you are, with a mind that gives it names, stories, descriptions, understandings, and meanings and methods and practices and purpose, purposes and, and relationships and associations. But your ground root place before your mind is born, that you're appearing here and that what you're witnessing appearing here, out of you and within you is that what you are appearing here as to portray something other than what you are but not other than what you are. If the mind that you are can cope with these worlds, can associate with these worlds, you're speaking nonsense. You're reflecting nonsense. If nonsense is projecting from the speaker and you see it as nonsense, you're on your way home in my world. The torch shines a light. The torch is not the owner of the light. It is the porthole where the light can transcend and shine through. The bulb is closer to the light than the torch. What is before the bulb? What is it that gives light to the bulb? The vessel of your self, your body, your mind is the torch. The light is projected through you 
not from you, through you. This, the one that thinks it is the light, is the light. The one that is not the light, knows it is not the light, is not the light. The torch, the bulb, the face of the torch, the space between that what the torch shines itself onto as a reflection of itself, that what is before the bulb creates a haziness, is, is, is con confronted by a haziness that appears to be forms in space. But the forms in space are all aspects of what that what is before the bulb wants to make of what it wants to see. If you believe in God, God is within you, before you. Your body and mind is the torch. God is that what is before the bulb. The light that gives you a connection between God and yourself is consciousness, the light. All is one when that what is seen is an overall whole encompassing no separation between that what is seen the space between the face of the torch and that what is seen the torch itself the porthole of light the bulb and that what gives is beyond the bulb and that consciousness that creates the whole light are all the same thing. None can exist without the other. That's the truth about what the power of what you are when the mind of nonsense disappears. Because the mind of nonsense is that what is between the face of the torch and that what is seen, a veil misconceptions, misinterpretations, lack of understanding, conditioning, inherited, education, intelligence, needs, wants, desires, creates a fuzziness to mask the truth of that what this is. Namaste. Om.